Elizabeth. Yes, my name is Elizabeth Teed, and uh, a little bit of history before I came here, um, I had had problems with my hormones. I had actually been on bioidentical hormones for at least five years, and they would change them every so often and still not get it right, and so I, in frustration, I just completely went off of them. And at that point, um, uh, I went to different doctors trying to figure out what was wrong because I knew I wasn't feeling right. I Actually, about a year ago, I started having heart palpitations and just a, a jittery feeling inside. And um, I'd had insomnia for many, many years. So I went to different doctors trying to figure out what was wrong. They said my heart was fine. They did a heart cath, said it was okay. Um, the hormone doctor I went to kept changing it and basically I was still having a lot of uncomfortable things with that, really, really serious hot flashes and different things. And so um, I had a book by Brenda Watson and there was an article in there that Dr. Spinagle had written and I, I read that and I just really felt that it would be something that would address some of my issues. I really connected with it. And so um, I made the decision to come here, not really knowing anyone that had come here, just feeling that it was the right thing to do. So I uh, contacted the, the center and they gave me an idea of how to get started. Uh, Jack worked with me and um, said, you know, if I needed to call him any time to call him, and I really appreciated that because I felt like I was at the end of my rope and had really high anxiety about things. So they sent me the kits to do the blood work and get that sent off, and I did that, and I came here as soon as I could after <coughs> after that. and. So I came and I really didn't know what the diagnosis was until I came. And uh, when I met with uh, Dr. Spinagle and the nurse, they said I, that my amino acids were very low, my immunity was very, very low, my hormones were very low, um, and uh, that I tested positive for the Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, which I really didn't know I had that at all. So uh, the first Monday I went to the seminar and listened to Dr. Spinagle and he explained a lot of things, you know, that just that I had read about and um, it started to, I started to feel like I had a little hope that maybe I could get better and I, uh, like I said, I met with the nurse the following day and that's when they gave me uh, the things that were wrong and, and also showed me things I needed to be taking and, and um, that sort of thing. And so they got me started on everything right away. I started doing the amino acids for the first week and then the second week, actually my father passed away while I was here and I had to go back to his funeral and then come back. And so there was a lot of things that was happening while I was here, but I still felt like it was the place that I needed to be. And um, I'm very happy that I found this place and that um, I really feel like they're doing a really great work and helping a lot of people get well. And so I just encourage everyone, if they have any doubts, to go ahead and... and um, do it because it's going to be worthwhile. Wonderful. And back to the hormones, um, they got me started on the, the hormones and, and tracked my progress on that. And it wasn't really too long before I started feeling a lot better. That well, even while I was here, the my uh, hot flashes, the really bad that I was having, was calming down. And um, the jitteriness that I had felt for at least a year, I was calmed, I'm c 
calmed down quite a bit from that. And I just have a lot of hope that, you know, I feel like I've been given back my life before I just kind of existed from day to day and wondering if I could make it through the day. And now I'm thinking about what I can do in the future and not, you know, I know that there's still work ahead for me to do, but I, I really have hope and faith that things are going to be better now. And I just want to give thanks to all the people here that have worked really hard helping me every day and the nurse Elaine and Jack and Dr. Spinogle and all the ones that the staff here have been wonderful and I really appreciate everything everybody's done.